Hello, and welcome to our webinar, How to Create a Digital Mail Room Plus Records Room, presented by DocSolid. My name is Joy Lukasiewicz, and I will be your host today. I do want to give a special thank you to our sponsor, DocSolid. DocSolid connects paper to its digital home so legal professionals can work smart and secure wherever they are. I would ask you to please take a moment to look at the chat area in the lower right corner of your screen. If your chat module is not open, sim simply click on the chat icon at the bottom right corner of your screen. In the chat module, you will see a drop-down menu with options next to the word to. If you have any technical problems today, please send a private message to host. If you have questions for the presenters, please chat those to all panelists. And if you have questions or comments to share with the entire audience, send a chat to everyone. A recording of this webinar will be available tomorrow, and we will send all registrants an email with this link. Okay, Michael, you can take it from here. Thank you, Joy. And good day, everyone. Michael Herzog, DocSolid. I would like to first introduce to you our presenter and give you a bit of background about Steve. Steve Irons is president of DocSolid. He's led several technology companies prior to founding DocSolid. And his team developed QuickTag Legal over 10 years ago. That has evolved into the comprehensive scanning solutions of our DocSolid Postmark Paper to Digital software platform. And that's now featuring the Airmail 2 solution, which we'll be showing you today. Steve is a holder of 12 US patents. He has generated corporate investment ventures with HP, 3M, and Iron Mountain. He's a magna cum laude graduate of Northern Arizona University. I'll be introducing Steve just a moment. And uh, before we get started with the presentation, I'd like to bring your attention to the side panel where we have a poll to share with everyone today. So uh, let me read through that for you and give you the opportunity to participate in the poll. When do you predict your law firm will have at least 50% of your attorneys returning to work in the office? Do you foresee that happening within Q2, Q3, or Q4 of this year? Or perhaps not until the first or second half of next year? Or is your firm already at a point where uh, at least half of your attorneys are working back in the office today? And we'll give everyone a few moments here to read through that and consider how you feel or foresee your firm uh, perhaps returning to work at the office. We'll have Joy keeping an eye on participation there so that we'll close the poll out just as soon as we've given everyone a chance to answer. Uh, and we'll discuss those results. Okay, let's take a look at the results. Uh, as you'll see on screen there, the majority feel that it'll be Q4 of this year at 39% versus the uh, second runner up here would be uh, as early as Q3 of this year at 26%. That in total is of course uh, over 60% of respondents. So uh, it looks like this year we're looking forward to a return to the office. And I, I'll just share with you, uh, we've run this poll now uh, with our webinars uh, throughout last year and now into this year. And that has been uh, one of the takeaways from that was actually how it has simply ebbed and flowed with the, uh, you know, continuing changes in, in the uh, landscape of how we've been responding to the pandemic. Um, but uh, with vaccinations on the rise and with cases on the ebb, and, uh, ebb now, it seems like we're uh, turning the corner finally. That does speak to our solution today as well, because it is about how we're going to handle uh, that mix of working in the office and from home. And with that, Steve, uh, I'll turn it over to you. We're ready when you are. Okay, thank you, Joy, and thank you, Michael. This is Steve Irons. I'm president of DocSolid. And today we're gonna to talk about creating a permanent digital mailroom and digital records room for your law firm. DocSolid built these solutions in these times for these times and the times ahead. Uh, here's our agenda. We'll spend uh, just a quick moment introducing DocSolid. And then we're gonna talk about normal now, which is our kind of alternative to the new normal. 
We'll discuss the requirements for a digital mailroom and a digital records room, and then we'll demonstrate the process and the software of Airmail 2 from DocSolid to pro provide those solutions. We should have plenty of time for Q&A at the end, so please make sure you type your questions for us as we go. And even if we run out of time, we'll stay on and make sure we get answers to everybody, okay? So, DocSolid does one thing for a living. We make paper to digital solutions for the legal market. We help law firms through a paper to digital transformation when they wanna get serious about removing the cost and risk of paper in their operations. Our solutions are innovative and, and we're experts uh, on the intersection of paper and people in a law firm. And you know, that's a love-hate relationship, right? And, and it takes more than just technology. Our normal now focus is about paper to digital solutions for the permanent operational changes in post pandemic times. As a track record, we have patented methods of managing scanning, printing, and shredding built for a law firm. And four of the top 10 US firms have paper to digital projects with us today, as do many smaller firms. Here's a quick look at our comprehensive paper to digital software platform. Postmark Scan and Scanback are enterprise scanning solutions for capturing paper documents into the document management or the email system. Now, interestingly, only about 30% of the paper that the law firm actually has as a burden comes from outside the firm and actually needs to get scanned. Up to 70% of the paper on site in the law firm has actually been printed from electronic documents already stored in the document management system. So this self-inflicted wound plays out by printing, then filing and storing paper documents that you already have electronically. It's a, a big file integrity, uh, security and, and storage problem that play, plagues most firms. Our postmark print solution solves this problem by marking documents that are printed if they're in the document management system so that they can be shredded instead of filed. Postmark QC is for quality control and it ensures that the integrity of your scanning operation uh, and make sure that each document process can be shredded with confidence. Postmark QC's flexible workflows provide a kind of a chain of custody for each document going through the process, and they're tightly integrated with the DMS repository. And finally, DocSolid's paper to digital consulting builds a paper to digital solution and projects to match the ambition, the budget, and the culture of our customer. Well, that that's what we used to do for a living, right? And then the pandemic hit, and uh, the workforce became fully distributed, and a new set of paper to digital needs emerged. So DocSolid built our Airmail 2 digital mailroom and digital records room solutions for what is normal now. Normal now, every firm needs a go forward digital mailroom and a digital records room, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. But as that poll showed us, we're still kind of waiting around for that new normal, right? We don't exactly have it scheduled in our Outlook calendars. So we keep asking, when will we be settled into our stable post-pandemic new life in our law firm? In January, Above the Law asked 150 big law and boutique firms, has your firm set a date for the transition away from remote work and the reopening of its offices? Well, in January, 84% of the firms said no. This is one of the reasons people are getting a little tired about the new normal discussions because it's just not that simple and it's getting dragged out. Um, for much of the new normal settling, it's gonna take a, a while longer. So when's the new normal? Do you know? Not really. And in that same survey in January, they asked what are going to be your firm's in-office work expectations? And check this out, all over the map. 18% uh, said they're gonna be back to normal pre-pandemic. 14% about said this, we're, we're, we think we're gonna get more than half of our people back. And then 13% said we think we're gonna get less than half our people back. 
But what the majority did agree on, 55%, in-office presence will be at the discretion of the employee. See, that's all still pretty fluid, and we're still waiting to figure out that new normal. We at DocSolid look at the new normal and say, this is a big picture that's still pretty squishy, and it's got a lot more questions than answers in it. And it's not necessarily actionable on all fronts. So at DocSolid, what we want to focus on is what is normal now? What do we already know about our adaptations that we must make permanent? What's actionable at your firm now based on this? And that is DocSolid's sharp focus on normal now. So here's some data that guides us. Peer Monitor in early 2021 asked, uh, or actually said, while 37% of lawyers expressed an interest in remote work prior to the pandemic, 76% now favor the remote work option. So what we know now, what is normal now, is that a large portion of our workforce is going to stay in home offices on any given day. And so what is normal now is that we need a permanent digital mailroom, not the one we cobbled together to just get through the early days of the pandemic. We need a best practice digital mailroom for our home workers and for our in-office workers when they come back. Normal now is digital mail delivery. And because much of the workforce will stay in home offices, quote, the legal sector will downsize its real estate needs on average 10 to 30%, in some cases, 40 to 50%. That, so real estate's uh, law firm's second biggest expense is already being cut, and now it's gonna be cut back significantly. So what is normal now? We need to digitize our records rooms. A law firm downsizing its real estate certainly don't wanna pay for square footage for records rooms, for war rooms with paper in them, or for boxes in halls. And home workers requesting files now need them delivered digitally. We need a digital records room. That is normal now. So let's talk about the digital mail and records, both for the workers in the home offices, but also using the same systems for the workers who come back to the downtown office. We don't want to run a digital system for home workers and a paper system for the office. Once we go digital, we don't want to go back, right? So the Daily Mail shows up at the downtown office, and this is U.S. Postal Mail. And though we don't get as much as we used to, what does show up can be vital to the practice of law. Uh, we also get FedEx and UPS documents and other type of what they call accountable mail. So review and calendaring of this mail is often time critical. And we need to deliver this mail digitally now. And our file rooms are occupying that floor space that we want to get back with that paper footprint that we want to eliminate. The file room needs to be digitized to help reduce the real estate expense when we renew or re renegotiate leases, or you know, so we can take a smaller set of offices. Digitizing that records room is going to enable office moves, restacks, remodels, and in the interim, it's going to digitally service the file requests that we get from those workers who are at home. Now, we obviously, for both the mail room and the records room, are going to want to scan this content, and OCR it, and put it where it needs to go. DocSolid is going to use the document management system for the delivery of daily mail and digital records. It, it's the... Uh, information system backbone, backbone that the firm has already invested in for secured matter workflows. Well, we got to ask ourselves first though, why not just use our existing scan utilities, right? We're kind of answering that today by all the people that have showed up. Uh, we're already knowing that we got a problem with that. Now, when the pandemic sent our workforce to their home offices, we did use our existing scan utilities for makeshift digital deliveries. But now we're realizing that productivity, security, and reliability standards just can't be met that way. Productivity for the operation means uh, getting the mail volume done and out on time every day with a reasonable amount of staffing. But more importantly, 
Attorneys receiving digital mail can't be forced to use their email inbox as a workflow tool for tracking down or managing scanned mail. They've got to get a quality, usable, scanned mail delivery process their way, right, to be productive. And for records digitization projects, get rid of file rooms. That's a big job, and productivity is the key to success there. You need a solution that's built for that job. Security, well, that's crucial for the regular handling of client-related mail. And email attachments bloating and floating in the Exchange server, they just don't cut it. Email is the most used cyber attack point. So we don't want to build new information delivery systems around it. For mail or record scanning, applying existing document management system security standards is fundamental. And lastly, reliability uh, of the digital mail operation or the records operation means the work gets done in a measurable way every day. But uh, these are now essential operations and they require software and process built for these specific law firm needs. That's what we got to get on about. So let's list a few requirements for these essential new operations, a digital mail room and a records room. They've got to be solid operations, as we said, productive, simple, secure. They're going to be staffed by clerical workers who will do a stable job with the right tools and regimentation and process. As mentioned, let's use the DMS for uh, the backbone of delivery of scanned legal mail and files. That was what you invested in to handle these documents. Quality controls for these operations need to be built in. That's how they get done. Making sure that all images are captured and profiled with quality is a requirement for shredding. And shredding is where we get a big ROI. We get rid of this paper after it's digital. Let's stage scan paper documents for retention period, then apply a policy for disposition on each document. Run audits, reports, show dashboards, all of that gives us confidence that shredding and retention is applied and is part of the process. One of the markers that we see now of um, uh, quickly put together mail systems, for example, is that the paper isn't shredded after scanning. And you know some of these makeshift mail rooms today out there still sort the physical mail, bundle, and deliver the paper mail out to the empty worker desks even after it is scanned. So quality control will fix that. You've got multiple offices. They have varied paper volumes and staffing. So you have to have different workflow requirements for small, medium, and large offices. And often for digitization projects uh, or mail rooms, we use contracted third-party labor to get that work done. So let's integrate the delivery to the document management system, but we don't necessarily want to have those third-party workers get uh, logins to the DMS. We want an easy deployment in these times with pre-built DMS integrations, use of the scanning equipment that's already in place without adding any new hardware or software. If there's new server software, uh, it should meet the firm's enterprise standards. And browser-based zero footprint user software makes a rollout easy. So we got some requirements to do this right, but here's the good news. It's actually great news. If we do a digital mailroom and a digital records room well, you've got DMS-based scanning for all your existing files and for the primary inflow of new paper, right? We've bookended the paper problem. The paper to digital transformation your firm has always been wanting is enabled if you do a digital mail room and a digital records room now. So let's get focused on it. Here's the AirMail 2 digital mail room. It provides firm-wide uh, firm system of software and workflow uh, and services to digitize and deliver your daily mail. The operation is set up and tailored for each office. Legal mail is delivered to the document management system in mail folders and the recipients are sent custom notifications and we can apply preferences for how each recipient wants to manage their mail. 
went uh, with airmail two operators in the mailroom are going to use barcode labels to make the mailroom work fast and accurate. So these stamps, they look just like stamps, but they're a pre-printed roll of uh, barcode labels. Uh, and the barcodes have sequentially num uh, numbered, um, sequentially numbered barcode labels. Each roll is registered to the logged in user. And so our software just knows because they're sequential each user's next number. We keep track of that in the software so that users don't have to. They just think of them as stamps. So AirMail 2 operators you'll see are going to tell our software who gets the mail item and then they're going to put a stamp on the first page. And that document when it's scanned is going to go to a daily mail folder in their iManage system, in their net document system, and they'll get a notification that they've got mail. This is the AirMail 2 daily mail process. You'll see that we're going to want to batch this work so that this isn't just about software, it's about physical work, right? We're going to want to build batches for the work because that's how it gets done productively and, and with process integrity. Multiple workers, if you've got batching, can operate simultaneously, but even a solo worker benefits from batching. And batch one, step one, is, you know, open and prep the mail, get it ready to go through a scanner. And that's what you see here, right? open and prep the mail. Note that um, with uh, the AirMail 2 process, the kind of sorting that happens in a mailroom can go away. That work was a pretty common task can go away. Batch one, open and prep the mail. Batch two, use the AirMail 2 software, which we'll show you next, to uh, uh, apply de delivery instructions to the mail item and then put a stamp on the first page. Batch three then takes the stack of mail with stamps on it and scans it in that stack all at once and uh, it, use your existing scanning devices. AirMail 2 will automatically deliver the scanned mail to daily mail folders in the document management system. And then batch four uses our quality control software to check today's work and stage the paper for disposition. Disposition is either retention or shredding. This process uh, provides checking for each mail item and overall auditing and reporting, all of which ultimately ensures confident shredding. So those are the batch steps. And we're done with batch one. We've prepped our stack. Here it is. Now we're going to use the AirMail 2 software shown on screen at batch two to push the mail into the digital process. So notice that the AirMail 2 software is browser based. And with an enterprise license, it runs for as many users as you need across the firm. And on screen, there's a simple envelope, which is used to enter the delivery instructions for each mail item. The operator is simply going to take the first mail item off the top of the stack and tell AirMail 2 who the mail item is addressed to. It's simple. The only required entry is the addressee's name. And AirMail2 is going to use the firm's active directory of all the people in the firm who can receive mail. So as the operator starts typing, the software will help. It'll type ahead for them and fill in the addressee's name. In this case, David Robinson. And then our AirMail2 software is always showing the operator that we know their next barcode label, the next barcode number in sequence in their role of labels. So all they do is take that out and put it on the first page of that mail item. Now, as you might imagine, once scanned, AirMail 2 will read that barcode and match it to this filing session, and it'll know how to deliver the scan to the appropriate daily mail folder. But now I'm going to keep going through my stack because I'm at batch two, and I'm going to get all these mail items uh, addressed and stamped, and I'm going to place them in a little folding out basket that we call a doc folder that will let me carry the stack over to a scanner. So that's a simple process, but there's actually a lot going on behind the software screen. So let's look at some of it. Remember I said the only thing that you have to enter is who gets this mail item. And our software is going to help you make that entry. But each mail recipient in the firm has delivery presets, preferences, if you like for how they want to receive their daily mail. So for example, DMS users can receive mail 
in a daily mail folder in the document management system. But non-document management system users can receive their mail scanned and sent by email. If that's the case, we will send it to them as a link, not as an attachment. But let's think about how paper mail was received in paper, all right, right before the pandemic. Many attorneys didn't bother with it, so their assistants handled their daily mail for them. So with AirMail 2, uh, an attorney can choose to have their assistant receive and manage their daily mail digitally. And who gets the email notification and what the notification enables, it's all customized for each user. So for these choices, our mail room operators, they don't have to think about it. They're not keeping track of this. They simply identify who the mail item is addressed to. And the AirMail 2 software applies the preferences automatically. Now, there's also an option on this screen uh, for a description field, which our customers like to use to say who the mail is from. Because we can push that description forward with the scanned mail, it describes the mail to the recipient. And we can actually even take that field and push it all the way as a profiling field into the document management system in a filing session. There's another option to enter a, the page count. So if you've got a critical mail document like a signed contract, you can tell us how many pages to accept. expect. We always know how many the scanner is going to send, but if you told us how many pages to expect and the two don't match, AirMail 2 will indicate that that document needs to be rescanned. Now, when I selected David Robinson, AirMail 2 shows me how David Robinson is getting his mail delivered. In this case, he's getting it delivered to the document management system, and he's getting his own mail email notification. Right now, his notification is set up to say, a document's been delivered to your daily mail folder. It's from the US District Court of Central California, and he's chosen to get a thumbnail image of the first page of that scanned mail item, actually placed into the body of the email. That thumbnail helps you know what the mail item is. You know, imagine you're a legal assistant and you're working for four attorneys and you're receiving their mail. It all comes to your daily mail folder. So these smart emails help you know how to prioritize the handling of that mail today. Also, notice that David Robinson's notification email contains a link uh, to the actual document as it's stored in the document management system. So remember, notifications can be customized based upon recipient preferences, work distribution, CC lists, or firm policy. And lastly, uh, this is a list of recipients of mail in the firm, but it can also be for workflows. So here's one for AP invoices. And my mailroom operators don't really need to think about invoices. They know what an invoice is, and they simply use this address to forward those scanned uh, invoices. The firm has decided who in the accounting department as an individual or as a group is going to be receiving those invoices. So the software is preset for that. All right. So there's stuff going on behind the AirMail2 software that uh, makes it sophisticated in how the operation works. So batch one was to prep the mail. Batch two was to address and stamp the mail. And the prepped mail is now in our folding out basket, the doc folder, and it's time to go to batch three, which is scanning. And as with all doc solid solutions, we're going to scan stacks with the touch of one button. So whether the mailroom or copy center has a digital copier or a dedicated scanner, uh, we're just going to put an AirMail 2 button on the soft panel, on the LED panel of those devices. And to scan, you're just going to put your whole stack of mail into the hopper, press the AirMail 2 button and the scan button, and go. So uh, for any maker model, you can have a Ricoh, Xerox, Canon, HP, we don't care. There's no logins, and we don't need to add any hardware or software. Scanning is just made simple and fast for the mailroom operation. And once the uh, scanning happens, 
our software, which is running out there on virtual servers, is going to grab the virtual stack, if you will. Uh, it's watching all the devices, and if somebody presses the Airmail 2 button, we grab that job. The software goes through the stack of scanned pages, and it finds the barcodes to separate the documents. Everything gets OCR'd and made into searchable PDF. In the background, we've got a Veritag process that's auditing all the work. Uh, it's kind of air traffic control on the scanning operation. So it's in the, at this stage, it's checking in the paper. It's gone through a scanner, and it's actually initiating the fact that we're tracking images that correspond to that paper. So Veritag kicks in. But then lastly, we, we read that barcode. And we, this most importantly, we, we know uh, for each mail item uh, to send it to the right DMS mail folder and to send notifications for each individual recipient. So all that's going to happen as automatic mail image processing at our server. And once these scanned mail items are reviewed in the document management system mail folder, so here's an example of a mail folder. This particular individual received four items of mail. There's a DMS function in that documents and in, in uh, I manage various versions that has a move capability and they will just move it to the appropriate matter. So imagine a legal assistant working for four attorneys, got four different pieces of mail today and it's the legal assistant's job now to move, move it to where it belongs in DMS. And notice that once the images show up in the document management system, we have removed that barcode from the scanned image, okay? So it does not go into the DMS with a barcode label on it. We remove it because attorneys don't want to see that on their documents, okay? So that's batch three. We have, uh, you know, scanned our documents and we're almost done. But remember, we want to run a quality control operation on today's digital mailroom work. Batch four is to do quality control. Every day for every mail item, did it get written to the document management system? Is the image quality good? Did we get all the pages? And let's stage that paper for a month to whatever the firm sets that time for before shredding. And we want to be able to run a help desk on this operation. We want to be able to audit any particular document and run reports. So just as a reminder, running in the background is our Veritag process. It's an automatic document tracking system. And, you know, the mail items and the paper, they're going to go through a lot of different process steps. But from the first point, the mailroom puts a barcode stamp onto a mail document. Airmail 2 knows that mail item is in the house. So by the end of the day, that mail item needs to be in the document management system digitally. And if it's not, our software is going to send the mailroom an alert saying that this document went missing. So Veritag is tracking automatically in the background that each paper document that entered the process exits the process digitally where it belongs. And that requires no human intervention. But here we are now in batch four. Here's our stack of paper that just got scanned. These are our mail items. And we're going to use the QC software pictured here to run a quality check of the day's work. Now, remember, if we mess up a mail item, we negatively impact an attorney's productivity, right? And possibly put client information or calendaring at risk. On the positive side, if each mail item is perfected every day, attorneys stay productive in their home offices and we enable shredding of that paper for in a couple of months. And, and that is where we get a big ROI and we encourage DMS use, and we stop running a dual system of delivering paper mail. So quality control matters, right? Here's our stack of scanned paper mail. And the operator uh, can either type the uh, barcode or use a wand to enter it into this little field of the quality control software. And when, when they do that, the software is going to retrieve that image therefore affirming that, yes, this document was processed today. So it's really important at this step to notice that we're using the paper to initiate the QC process. See, that makes it very fast and it lets us fix any common errors because the paper and the software are married up 
right, right there. Uh, so we can just do it all at once. The quality control software sets up a workflow based upon the extent of QC that your firm wants to do. Maybe we'll spend 10 or 20 seconds per mail item. It takes me a lot longer to talk about it than to do it. Uh, but that's going to give us a, a host of benefits while uh, ensuring a daily process integrity. So here in this particular workflow that a firm is using, they're checking image quality and thumbnail and full page display, and it checks the page count. It affirms that this document was in fact written today to the document management system. And the software always tells the operator what to do with this paper, uh, what the disposition is. Uh, and it's what it's telling them now is that this document can be staged in the shred box. So after a successful review, the operator is going to press the accept button and move to the next document. Uh, common fixes such as image rotation, blank page removal, they can be fixed right at this session. And if, for example, the page count is off because, say, the scanner uh, skipped a page, the operator can just rescan that document at a small scanner next to their station. And our QC software is going to recognize that barcode went through the system today. It'll know it's a rescan, and it'll just push the corrected image back through the process for acceptance. Now, when you're done with that stack of paper, uh, the paper is staged for temporary storage awaiting shredding. And that temporary storage period is set by your firm. Again, it's usually a couple months. The storage box has a date range and the starting barcode number sequence on the side. So if we need to find a paper, we can do it quickly. Okay, so for example, an, an at-home attorney could get a digital mail item and, and ask the mailroom to pull that particular document for permanent retention in records because they see it as something that needs to be retained. So the QC process includes the staging and disposition of the paper. That is our step four. And that's our airmail to mailroom software. Mail presets for every recipient in the firm and very simple software to use. Easy user interface sets up batch workflows and makes these operations routine. Okay? Airmail 2 Digital Mailroom. Its complementary product is the Airmail 2 Digital Records Room, which we talked about is a firm wide software workflow and service to digitize paper records to the document management system. And that's going to help us eliminate these records rooms and reduce the real estate footprint for paper. It's going to help us fulfill document requests digitally for workers who are at home. And ultimately, it's going to stop the flow of records to offsite storage. So here's the Airmail 2 digital records room software. And similarly to the mail room, we've got four batch steps, right? Step one, now we're dealing with red welds or these files, and we're going to prep it the same way. We're going to take it out. The paper's going to come out and be prepped. We're going to profile using the Airmail 2 records room software, which I'll show you next different software user interface, but then get a barcode on the first page. And then the scanning is going to be the same. We're going to press one button and scan stacks. And we're also going to run a QC process, same software. So although we're regi regimenting and building out solutions for these jobs, we're getting a lot of use from our software platform. This is the Airmail 2 records room software, right? Different software user interface. And at the top, we say, okay, we've got a prepped document here. We've got a prepped file. So you got to tell us what matter this belongs with. And at the top of the screen here, there's a search field. If you only know, for example, the client and you enter that in, our software will show you the different matters for that client. Uh, generally, you would know the matter. And once you enter the matter where this document needs to go, our software will display the folder structure for that matter making it very simple to maybe just point and click to where this document goes in a folder and put a barcode on it. But we're also going to pull in the entire DMS uh, profiling structure so that if you wanted to do more detailed profiling down to the document level, you could. Our software will always show the records room operators 
what the default uh, disposition is going to be for this document that's being processed. And we are going to use barcode labels, but there's times when using cover sheets are more uh, advantageous. So anytime you see us using a barcode label, you should know we could also use a barcode cover sheet. In this case, we can print reusable ones that if I've got a big file to slide, I can just slide in there every uh, natural break and, and scan them all together and our software will figure out how to reassemble it when it puts it in the document management system. So uh, the software as with the mailroom, it's always showing the operator that we know their next barcode number in the dispenser. This is just different type of barcode label here. And ultimately we wanna get a barcode on the first page of a document so that we can scan it. Everything else is gonna be automatic. So the software gives you a search screen and then an entry area to identify the matter where the document belongs or where the file belongs. And this can be used for scanning records in big back file projects, but it can also be used if an attorney at home has requested a single document or a single folder from the matter. Same software. Browser-based, zero footprint client. Uh, it's sold as an enterprise software license. It's productive and repetitive. It's aware of the document management system, but we are not speaking directly to the DMS. DocSolid software does that the, via the APIs, but this is a user interface that can be exposed to somebody who doesn't have a document management system login. And this software can do image on demand for selective retrievals and scans, or it can be used for the big jobs of backfiles. It's built for both of those jobs. So that's the Airmail 2 records room software. And ultimately we wanna get barcodes on paper and scan them, right? There's another option with the records room software. A lot of firms have already barcoded physically the outside of their file folders. So if you've got barcodes on the outside of your file folders linked to your records management system software, we can simply have you wand them and we'll go off and extract the corresponding profile for the documents in there automatically. So this records connect option can uh, access IRM, file trail, legal key, and enhance the speed, accuracy, and security of getting these documents profiled and barcoded. So if you got barcodes on your files, we're gonna use them to make the work go better. We can map your records management system just like we map your document management system so that nobody's logged into those, but we're using them to profile. And this makes it fast and accurate. It also lets you work with um, labor that doesn't know anything about the files. So if you wanna hire people to get this work done and they don't know anything about the profiles of the file, it enables them to get that profiling work linked into the project. Ultimately, though, we want to get, you know, documents ready to be scanned with barcodes on them. That's what we're all about. And of course, everything else is going to be like the mail room. The records room is still going to walk up to the same devices, press the single Airmail 2 button, scan stacks, and our software will separate the documents and OCR and make searchable PDFs and write to the correct location, in this case, all the way into the matter, in the document management system. Afterwards, you'll go through the same quality control process and disposition staging for the paper on its way to be shredded or in some instances retained. So you're using the same platform for the mail room operation and the records room operation. That's the Airmail 2 digital records room companion solution to our Airmail 2 digital mail room. And the mailroom and the records room are independent solutions. So they can be bought and implemented together or separately. They both use the same software platform. So if you buy one now and get the other one later, it's gonna use the same DMS integrations, the same image processing engines. Uh, it's gonna use all the scanning devices uniformly. And these are DocSolid's normal now solutions, Airmail 2. Okay, and remember what our standards were, were productivity, security, and reliability, because it's time to shift from heroics, which we did at the beginning of the pandemic,
to process. And these are essential new operations for every law firm. Okay, we're at the Q&A portion. We've got about 15 minutes left. And Michael, I'm gonna turn it back to you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, yes, we do have questions, so let me relay those to you. And uh, the first question that we got was an interesting one for you. Uh, I believe the answer uh, relates to the option to use e-cover sheets, but let me read it to you and allow you to answer it. Uh, what would we do? How are original documents that we would not want to adhere a stamp to handled for the scanning process? Well, our customers that scan, for example, in the state planning, they use our labels. The labels have a patented adhesive, which is called repositionable, but when you're done, you can peel it right off. It does not damage the documents in any way. So the adhesive on these labels obviously is built to go through scanning devices and to stay on the paper. But if when you're done, you wanna remove them physically from the paper, they just peel right off. And so that's probably what you do. As Michael mentioned, you can also print a barcode cover sheet and use that anytime as an alternative to a label. But printing cover sheets is, uh, you know, in, in general operation, you're introducing more paper to the process. It generally isn't more efficient. So you would probably just use our labels and then remove them physically from the paper when the scanning was done. That's what most of our customers do that, that need to remove them, right? Next question, uh, compared to another mail solution that scans OCRs is searchable, allows comments, but does not go directly into the DMS, a recipient can send directly to another associate, et cetera. Uh, I'm assuming they mean via email. Uh, they also have a phone app. How is your solution more secure or better? And do you have an app for review remotely? Okay, there's a lot packed in there. Um, I, I actually, it's hard to compare because I don't know what you're talking about, but let's talk about scanning to email for delivery first in, in this sensor. First thing I'll say is our solution will scan to email if that's what you want to do, right? As we mentioned, it is inherently unsecure. It is it's not a best practice anymore for a variety of reasons. I mean, do you want all your attorneys um, trained to use their inbox as a workflow tool? Do you want all your attorneys trained to be opening uh, attachments from email uh, when that's how everybody gets hacked these days? Um, you know, again, there's just, we have a, an article written on this. So there's a lot of reasons not to use scan to email, but our system will do scan to email. If it does, we actually can send emails with the mail items as a link so that the recipient of the mail can just click the link in their email item and it'll launch their PDF viewer and they've got their scanned image. But we're not trafficking that uh, attachment where it, you know, it ends up in your exchange server, it's unnamed. So if you wanna scan the email and you need to scan the email, for example, for people who don't use the DMS, our system does it. So if, to compare, I would just say we do that as an alternative. It's not preferential if these are legal documents, but that's up to you. We do that. Um, I think what you also asked about is what about remote users? Well, I mean, we should focus on mainstream, shouldn't we? Remote users today are sitting in their office connected to uh, your downtown office and they're running their document management system. They are remote, but they're running the document management system and we're inside of it. Now, if you send it by email, you probably also have a lockdown email system. So we're inside of that as well. If you're talking about receiving mail on a mobile phone, uh, which would be kind of an outlier, I mean, I don't think that's a big requirement for where we are right now in the marketplace. Well, if you receive documents through your document management system with the document management system mobile app, there we are, right? If you don't, if you're buying a third party mail scanning application, and somehow it's delivering um, client information to your mobile phone, 
well, you probably have a lot of security review to do these days. So uh, I, it's a tough question because I, I really don't know how to give a delineated comparison, but A, this solution will scan to email. And if you do, we can send a link instead of an attachment, much more secure. Um, and, you know, uh, we have all those options. Thank you, Steve. The next question is, uh, can the system be linked to client matters in the DMS to scan directly to those folders rather than to a system inbox? Yeah. So what we uh, demonstrated is pretty standard for our customers right now. They're using a daily mail folder that they put into the DM for every worker. And then uh, generally a legal assistant gets the daily mail that way and moves it using the DMS move function into the matter where it belongs in the DMS. But you saw our digital mailroom software, which can profile directly all the way into the matter and apply any other um, DMS profiling you want to every document, whether it's a retrieval from the uh, records room or a daily mail folder. So we have, for example, an intellectual property firm who has a highly skilled mailroom. When they do it, they use that software user interface, which profiles completely to the document management system. You can do both, but to profile directly completely all the way to the document management system, think about it. You're going to have to have mailroom operators who understand the documents in the DMS well enough to do that. That's atypical, right? It happens, but it's atypical. So both are options on our system. Okay. Uh, in the chat, I'd like to bring everyone's attention to that chat panel. I'm going to go ahead and paste in there the download link to our Airmail 2 white paper download. So that PDF that you see on the slide uh, is available for you to download uh, at your uh, convenience. And Steve, now our next question is, we have multiple offices. Can we centralize the mail process? Absolutely. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're going to centralize the mail process, you're, you're going to need a productive, high integrity system at the office where you centralize, right? And the volumes will go up because they're gonna be receiving all the mail there. So we, we do have some uh, customers that are working toward that. Now, centralizing the mail in the law firm is a process in and of itself, right? You don't see many national firms doing it. There's a variety of reasons. For example, if I forward the mail from Seattle to my New York office where I wanna centralize, I'm adding days to that mail uh, transport time. But regional firms do do it. And, uh, you know, if you are going to do it, then you're going to need a high quality best practice digital mailroom that handles, you know, productivity, process, integrity, security. So this is an enabler for centralizing the receipt of your mail. Next question, Steve, what kind of training do you provide for staff upon purchase? Do you have central help desk or would we train our IT to assist with troubleshooting? Uh, all of DocSolid's solutions are sold turnkey, meaning that, you know, a price includes consulting, professional services, and training. We train the trainers as far as user training goes. We train the, the trainers for users and we train system administrators and our support agreement uh, contains uh, the ability for us to come back and do training whenever it is you need it. Um, we, we, uh, one of the things that was mentioned in there is a help desk. The Airmail 2 software solutions actually come with a help desk so that your firm's help desk can operate a firm-wide digital mailroom or digital records room. Uh, we've got a, a dashboard so that all the scanning activity from all the offices can be monitored. Um, and uh, this solution comes with a help desk that your help desk would use to do support. And we, and we DocSolid support contract, we support your help desk, right? Your help desk calls us if they've got a, a, a need. Next question, Steve. 
Is the records room software typically used for day forward scanning only or a back file scanning project? Well, very specifically, the highest value point for the records room software is those back files for you know big projects. Um, it's built and our consulting applies kind of a scan factory mentality because you know if somebody looks at a records room and they say we're moving in two months it's almost always too late right you've got to attack these records rooms well in advance because it's a lot of work to get them digitized and our software is ideal for running a big project like that it's important also to note though that once it's in place it is also your day forward system, right? The same server side connections, the same user interface, the same trained operator use of the system. Uh, so it, it does both. And, uh, you know, the high value point is, of course, to help you digitize those records rooms so that the law firm can reduce its real estate footprint and not pay for a paper footprint anymore. Okay, Steve, I think that's all the questions we have. And so if you've got any closing comments, uh, let me leave it to you. Okay, well, that was a lot, right? <laughs> um, the, we, we covered the uh, Airmail 2 digital mail and records room and our advocacy at Doc Solid is this is normal now. You know, everybody needs one. It's important to take a look and honor the heroics that were done to get us through the early days of the pandemic, but now we need sustainable solutions for the future. And your future is gonna have a large population of your attorneys and staff at home. It could be 30%, 40, 50, 60%, it doesn't matter. It's a large piece of the uh, law firm's workforce that's gonna be in home offices. And then you're gonna have a corresponding piece of your workforce back in the main office downtown. You need digital uh, records and digital mail for both of them. And as they say, it's, it, it's a shame to waste a good catastrophe, right? So we've got a driver now to make the firm digital. If you cut off the flow of most inbound paper to a law firm, which is the mailroom, make it digital, get it in a document management system. And if you simultaneously digitize the existing files that are in the file rooms, well, you know, that's, the digital transformation that your firm has been wanting forever. The secret is we're doing it in the back room, right? We're not traipsing out into the front office and asking people to change their behavior. The, the pandemic kind of helped there, right? Because attorneys went home and we were all a little bit surprised that they adopted digital behaviors that they resisted previously, but they just did it now because they kind of needed to. So we want to take advantage of that crisis moment and uh, implement for the future a digital mail and record suite. And so I would thank you for the time today. And I would say that the most important thing that we can all say and do with each other right now is stay safe and healthy, right? Get to the other side of this pandemic. We're all still in it together. This is not a good time to relax, right? So let's all uh, do our business, but let's also take care of ourselves. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much.